Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya. Welcome to JS of Tech. And in this session, I am going to discuss with you all the SDLC overview for all the beginners. Anyone who is interested to get into software field or if you are already uh, in, into the software field, uh, any, of, any of you associated with the software development and uh, testing quality or uh, support, everyone has to know about the SDLC, uh, the software development lifecycle concept. Now let's start off with a quick introduction about SDLC. Now what is software development lifecycle? The software development lifecycle is a well-organized process for building software that guarantees the quality and accuracy of software created. SDLC process intends to deliver high quality software that meets client expectations. The system development should be finished in the predefined time and cost. And uh, the software development lifecycle is a well-organized process. Here are the best reasons why SDLC is a vital for developing a software system. So let's understand why we have to use uh, SDLC. It gives a reason for project outlining, scheduling and budgeting. It gives a framework for a conventional set of projects and deliverables. It is best way for project tracking and administration, increases the visibility of project planning of to all associated stakeholders, thereby helping in the expansion process. It helps boost the development speed. It also improves client relations. It helps you to reduce project risk and project administration plan overhead. Now, SDLC phases during the agile uh, software development life cycle, I'm taking just an example of it. There's a six specific phases that dictate where the project is at any particular point of time and what comes next in terms of evolution. So the various software development lifecycle phases are requirement gathering, analysis, design, implementation, coding, testing, de deployment and support. So we're going to see about uh, see all these uh, different phases of the SDLC. Now. These are the steps or stages in the SDLC life cycle. We have the first one is a planning, second analysis, third design, fourth implementation, fifth testing and integration and sixth maintenance. We'll quickly understand about each one of these steps and what exactly we are going to do in this particular step. Planning and requirement phase. In this planning and requirement analysis, requirement gathering is the most important stage in the SDLC. So business analysts and project organizers do client meetings to gather all the requirements of the clients, like what to do, who will be the end user, what is the purpose of the product, etc. Before creating a product, a core understanding or knowledge of the product is very necessary. Defining requirements. This is the second phase of the uh, entire life cycle. Uh, once the requirement analysis is done, the next stage is to surely document the software specifications and get them approved by the project stakeholders. This can be accomplished through the RS, uh, SRS software requirement specification document, which embraces all the product elements to be created and developed during the project life cycle. And designing in the in the stage in this stage the requirement gathering in the SRS document is used in information to obtain the software architecture. So designing is where we have to actually gather all the uh, all the all the requirements. Moreover, this phase also consists of storyboarding or wireframing software that is needed for functionality. Though this is the developers then create either rough working dev models or illustrates how the software will be will work how it will look like and how usage of uh, usage flows will move from one screen to another screen and all these things so this is a design part wherein we can visualize in the designing we will visualize what is going to be the final product of the entire project so we create some documents we create some images uh, with which we can show to the client client customer or our own uh, own team members what exactly is going to be happening uh, after the end after the project is been concluded now implementation and coding is actual phase this is the most important phase of the entire life cycle of the uh, software life cycle development uh, cycle so in this stage of sdlc the exact development begins and the and the programming is built the execution of design begins concerning script code developers have to follow the coding uh, guidelines defined by their management and programming tools 
like compilers, interpreters, debuggers, etc., are used to integrate and implement the code. And the testing phase, this is when uh, the entire implementation has been done or the coding is done. Once it's been concluded and tested by the, the by the developer themselves, then it goes to the testing phase where the testing team will be testing the uh, all the developments or configurations, customizations that have been done in the implementation phase. At the code, after the code is generated, it's tested against the specifications to ensure that the products are solving the needs directed and inferred during the requirement stage by the client. During this phase, several te testings like unit testing, integration testing, system testing and approval testings have been done. You, you also have something called user acceptance test, wherein you invite the customer to test whether, whether the actual developments have been according to their expectations. Then we have the deployment. Once the software is approved and no bugs or error, errors are asserted, then it is deployed. Later, based on the assessment, the software is developed, delivered, as it is uh, or with suggested augmentations in the object segment. After the software is developed, then its sustenance um, uh, begins. Now, maintenance, once the, uh, let's say the deployment is been done, you, you have you have explained, uh, you know, in the you, before the deployment, we also have something called knowledge transfer, wherein we are going to explain to the customer or the client how to make use of the developments that we have done. It's called uh, end user training or super user training also can happen. So once the, once the you know, end user training has been done uh, in the deployment, we are going to uh, make them, you know, uh, test, uh, test it, test our developments, how it has been done. And uh, later, based on the assessment, the software is delivered as it is or with the suggested augmentations. Wherein, if let's say client says, you know, they, I need some small changes, we'll do it and then we'll give it to the client in the augmentation uh, object segment. So after the software that is deployed, then its sus sustenance uh, begins. So once, let's say the, the project goes live and all the deployments have been deployed to the customer and they are working, the business is working on the system, then starts the maintenance. Once the client starts using the developed uh, software, then the real issues start coming up. In this stage, the team is required to fix the issues, roll out new features and refine the functionalities as required. The method where the care is taken for the finished product is thus known as maintenance. Now, remember that this software development life cycle is, is, is the, is the base on which all the life cycle, uh, the, the product life cycles and software life cycles have been designed. For example, like in SAP, we have SAP methodology, accelerated SAP, and we have waterfall method. We have V model. We have very various models, which are actually been inspired and, uh, uh, taken reference from the SDLC. So SDLC is an environment that describes activities performed in each stage of the de software development process. The SDLC contains detailed plan, which basically uh, describes how the de development and uh, maintenance of the specific software is connected. So most people involved in with the software development are very much familiar with the waterfall or uh, sequential method and V, v model. So I'm going to come up with uh, various uh, models of uh, software development lifecycle, which we generally use in our software, in our projects in in the coming session so if you told if you would like to listen to like to know more about a particular uh, development life cycle concept then i'll be explaining you about that i'm, I'm going to also share you a couple of uh, uh, couple of points on agile as well in the coming sessions when agile is uh, has become very popular in the recent times So waterfall method, incremental approach and V model are the most popular software development lifecycle uh, concepts that we make use of in various projects. We have waterfall method. Uh, the waterfall is a widely trusted SDLC model. In this linear sequential model, the whole process of software development is divided into various phases. So I'm going to explain you more about the waterfall model, model in a different uh, session. Incremental approach, the incremental model is not separate. It is a series of waterfall cycles. The elements are divided into groups at the, at the, at the com commencement of the project. For each group, the SDLC model is, is followed to produce software. The V model, this type of SDLC model is used for testing and de de development. Uh, the phase is planned in parallel. So there are verifying stages on one side and the validation phases on the other side. Apart from the above mentioned, there are other popular models like the Agile model, the Spiral model and the Big Bang model. For SAP, 
uh, projects we mostly use asap methodology and then the latest one which we have is the activate methodology which i have already explained in the previous sessions and coming up do write in the comments what exactly you would like to know more about and i'll be happy to make a session on it and uh, do subscribe to our channel if you have if at all if you have not yet done that youtube.com slash jsoftech and if at all if you're looking out for any kind of trainings you can contact us at training at jsoftech.com and if you're looking out for any kind of jobs you can contact us at jobs at jsoftech.com thank you have a great day